everybody, it's Caitlin, uh, aka Daffodil, and I'm here today to help you guys out with some of the dances at the Michigan Renaissance Festival. So people had asked me at the last rehearsal if I could write out all the steps for them to help them get things down during the week so they could practice, and I was doing that today, and I realized that a visual would really be a lot of help, so I'm going to do some diagrams, and I'm going to do some stuff. I'm going to do the dances and go over them on the video so you can watch it at home with the music and yeah, so we'll see how this goes. This is my first of several instructional videos of the dances of the Michigan Renaissance Festival. Our first one will be the Sharon Zula because that was the one I was asked about uh, writing out the steps for. So we'll see how it goes. Yay! <laughs> Men and women. Women. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the queen. She needs to stand in front. Yeah. Anyway, that's how you should look. Girls on the right, men on the left, and the hands clasped with the women on top. Yeah. All right. So to get you started, we're gonna do a basic step with your right foot, your left foot, and then kick with your right foot, left foot, right foot. Unfortunately. The camera does make it the reverse of what's actually happening, but bear with me, I'm going to be saying the steps while I do it. So hopefully that'll help, and we will have music. So we're going to start with the basics, and what happens first is you step with your right foot forward and your left foot forward. Now the weight should be on this left foot right here, so what you want to do is kick out with your right foot and hop on that left. And then you're going to switch and switch. Now this right foot is in the air already. So it's very easy for you to just step back on your right foot. Step back with the left and do the same thing again with kick with the right, the left, and the right. Again, right foot in the air, perfectly ready to step forward forward with your left, and kick right, left, right. Again, step back with your right and your left, kick right and left, then turn towards your partner with a jump. All right, from there, you're going to be facing your partner. So, camera's my partner today, and I'm going to slide over to the left and put my right arms out. Should look left on the camera, sorry. Sliding over and going up and down on the balls of my feet. Then the opposite, going to the right and up, down. Now you're going to change places with your partner. Simple siding, just one time, the country style. That's all you need to do. So you're siding with your partner. Girls should cross in the front. Guys, she's crossing the back. I'm not going to face the camera with my back. So, you get there, you're facing your partner, but in your opposite spot that you were in before. Once again, oh, and then you're going to go up and down. Now, you're going to repeat. So, left, up, down, right, up, down, change places, <laughs> and up, down. That's the whole dance, pretty much. Only thing you need to know is after you do it the first time, all of that, when you go to repeat, you're going to face the opposite direction that you first went in. So in morning dance, you're going to start by facing the front gate. That's where all the crowd is. Then, when you do it the second time, you're going to turn and face the maypole and the pretty purple peasant dancer sign. It says peasant dancers, peasant dancers, peasant dancers, peasant dancers. You're going to face that the second time. However, you should watch out because the song is called Musician's Revenge. Musician's Revenge. And they can change the tempo whenever they want, so watch out. And what else? Oh, you kick up a lot of dust. And if it's muddy, I do permit stomp, stomp, stomp in place of kick, kick, kick. But really, it's not that hard. Yeah. So that's about it. And now we're going to do it a little quicker, and the music will be there to help you. So, yay! Alright, here we go! 
All right, here we go. And make sure you do your nice curtsy to your partner or bow. And right, left, right, left, right. Back right, left, right, left, right. And forward, forward, kick, 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 step. As you can see, the tempo can change a lot, and, well, it's not that hard of a dance if you really think about it. Whatever feels natural should be right. The right foot's already in the air, so you step back with it. You do the left up down, the right up down, when you change places into the up down, you do the same thing. Uh, yeah, so, Sharon Zula, what's not to love? I'll be back with some other dances in the future. Bye!